Hello, all Minecrafters. Gears Haw Studios here. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a Mayan temple slash pyramid, because jungles can get pretty bland, considering the current jungle temples are pretty bland in themselves. So, adding a nice Mayan temple will spice things up. However, before I begin, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So, with that, onto the tutorial. For the palette, we're going to be using something very simple. We're going to be using cobblestone and stone bricks with their mossy variants. Because at first, this temple seems very intimidating to build. Because it's big and it includes a lot of mossy blocks and you can get overwhelmed very easily. However, once you get into the flow of it, it's incredibly easy to build. So, what you need to do is find a large area that you can build it in and build about a 25 or 50 by 50 square. So make sure it's a square. It does not matter if it's an even or odd amount of blocks because no matter what, it will line up in the middle. However, it's always good to go odd because that allows you to have doors without being double doors. Although using doors in this build is pretty questionable. Now, I've created a 25 by 25 base plate and definitely you did not have any slash fill mishaps, which doesn't explain why all the grass is missing. Aside from that, we now have a 25 by 25 base plate made completely out of cobblestone. So, where's all the moss? Texturing's for later, because if we do it as we go, we might end up doing parts of the interior part which will just be a waste of resources because no one will ever see it. So what we do is we just continually stack. Now we have a two layer thing. And now you have an option. You could either go up another two or you could just go inward another thing. So we're building a stepped pyramid, which means we have two blocks here. So pretend this is an entire layer right here. And we go inward, and then we do the same thing. So two blocks, two blocks, until we reach about a 7x7 seven seven platform at the top. So continually make smaller steps to this, so that way we can create a nice stepped pyramid like most mine temples appear to be. Now we just have a pyramid. So it's not an amazing pyramid but it's a pyramid to get things started. What we need to do now is we need to calculate the center. So the center in this is an even amount of blocks, unfortunately, whether it be just off of how many blocks you counted originally or some mathematical miscalculations. Either way, we have an even center. If you have an odd center, most things follow the same path. Now, once we find the center, which is between these two blocks, we should start making a staircase. But don't texture it, because still, once we have everything just made out of plain cobblestone and stone bricks, then it becomes a lot easier to go on. And of course, now we have a staircase and some rendering glitches happened along the way, because it's Minecraft, what did you expect? Then we just go up one on each side, so that way it's just a little bit thicker. Then once you have that done, do it on all four sides. We have this side and even if the other sides, well, aren't useful per se, mainly because of caves or just hills, what we need to do is just build a staircase anyways to keep it symmetrical. Even if the staircase gets abruptly cut off, it's still worth building it. With these staircases in, it's starting to come together. It's still definitely a blueprint, but it's ready to start getting things done. What we need to do first is, in the middle, on textured still, is create some sort of like shrine-ish thing, which means just build a shrine. It doesn't have to be terribly complicated, but just do something simple. For now, I'm just going to have these weird tower things in, and you can add some stairs, you can add some slabs, and you can give it a little bit of a dome at the top. That
that will help make it look good. But do something with the middle is the important idea. Although I may or may not have gone a little bit overboard with the middle, it looks pretty good because the use of stairs, slabs, and especially walls really ties it together into this nice design. Albeit it just doesn't look too Mayan, it does look very good, and with some other accents similar to these around, it will look good, despite it a little bit branching off from typical Mayan architecture. But aside from that, we need to continue this design downward. Whatever you did up here, just continue it down. And it doesn't have to be all spectacular, pointy stairs, stuff like that. You just need a staircase with railings. And as you go down, you can just place these along, add some stairs, no texturing until the final part. And just like that, we have part of a staircase. So repeat this on all four sides. All right. We have staircases, and we have a beautiful middle, and I also put a bit of a water shrine right here, but if you aren't too keen on having some sort of shrine right here, you could make a ladder going into the inside. However, Mayans don't actually use the interiors of these from my knowledge, so there isn't too much of a need to decorate the interior, because there might as well not be one. But now... It's time to see if we can add anything else. Just doing small details here and there, just to see if there's anything we can improve before we start texturing everything. Because once you start texturing, it gets really hard to change things. Because then you have to retexture it, and texturing takes way too long. So, do all of your last minute changes before you do texturing. So, of course, adding more stairs and slabs, looking at your middle, see if it's good possibly doing an interior, just whatever you can think of, because texturing is the last thing you should do for this build. I've proceeded to add some small details here and there, such as a couple more stone bricks on the first layer, replacing the middle with fire with campfires underneath to create this nice shrine effect while also opening the roof, and just some small things here and there, which means it's time to start texturing. All you do is place down one mossy cobble, and then just spread it around, like some sort of vine growth. It's a really easy way to texture, and can be done by just about anyone. So don't be too overwhelmed. It's very easy to get going. Just getting resources is the hard part, or just getting started. Already, just by adding some mossy cobble, it looks quite a bit more aged. Of course, we could age it further by breaking down some structures, but doing some nice texturing using some mossy stuff is better. Now, do the same pattern for the stairs, just do some continuing pathway of moss. Doesn't have to be completely overboard, just about 30% of it would be good. So nothing too extreme, but nothing too crazy, like this. It's simple and of course, you can add a little more or take out a little, but it's nice and simple. Another thing is, we need to do the sides of these railings. So, just do exactly what you've been doing. Where the moss spreads, put mossy stone bricks there. Just continue the pattern. With the staircases in, I have realized something. And that is the fact that you can also add cracked bricks. And, not sure why I didn't realize this before, but, of course, you can add cracked bricks. The thing is, there isn't much you can add with them, considering so much of the build's already mossy, and there's no mossy cracked stone bricks. But, it's merely just a suggestion, and you can see what it looks like with some of this mossified. Already looking a lot better. So, just like that. Some texturing really goes a long way, and if you attached any torches to surfaces, make sure to put them back, because it's very easy to forget about them, because they just pop off, and then you just don't see them again, especially in creative mode, where 
things, appearing in your inventory is not too uncommon and just a minor inconvenience that you ignore. However, I'd say this build is done. So, let's take a look at it on night. So, if I change it to night, specifically midnight, we can see the lighting coming from it is coming from the top. And that makes it look very pretty. Because as you get closer, it gets brighter and brighter until you get to the top. So, overall, very pretty. And you may notice that there's slightly less moss on the interior, especially on the ground and the actual altar. But that's because, well, the fire would probably kill all the plants growing near here. So, it doesn't make sense to have the altar be mossed over. So, with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So, with that, take care, be careful, Gearsaw out. <laughs>